Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to do something a bit daring, a bit controversial. That is, I'm going to cut up a painting I've done. Um, this is the painting I'm going to cut up. Um, so I did this painting a few weeks ago, probably a few months ago, I've, I've lost track. I'll put the creation video link in the description of this video. So if you want to see how I did this, um, go in the description box and you'll find the link. I'm going to cut it up. I've got this idea. I'm going to take the canvas off the, the board itself. I'm going to cut it into lots of strips and I'm going to weave it um, to see what sort of effect um, it can give. So just to create a different piece of artwork from an existing piece of artwork. I've got lots of paintings like this that maybe I don't put enough effort into trying to sell or to give away. So my art room is just full full of paintings that I just I haven't got around to doing something with. So although in some ways it's a shame to cut up a painting that I potentially could have given away or sold, I also enjoy trying new things. So I'm going to use this to try something I've never done before. Um, so let's get started. This canvas is 30 centimetre square. So what I'm gonna do first of all is take the, gonna cut the canvas off the board. So I guess there's a couple of ways I could do it. I don't really need the entire canvas. Um, so the easiest thing would be just to cut down here. I've got my craft knife. The other option is just to, no, I can't get my knife under there. So I think I'm just gonna cut it like this. So I'll be losing the edges, but that doesn't matter. Let's see, now it's quite a thick pour, so I might find that this is actually quite difficult to cut. Oh no, that's okay. Right, what is difficult is cutting it straight. That is difficult. If I can find the edge here, it might be easy to go this way. No, that's quite difficult. Ah, I just remembered. I remember another way I did it, I think, before, which was to, was it to go in this way? Ah, oh, that's it. I knew there was an easier way. So I've just got the craft knife along the edge of the canvas. And there's a, it's thinner paint right on the edges, so it's much easier to cut. Then right in the centre where the paint is thicker. Right, perfect. So I'm going to keep the frame. It's quite a nice frame. I often find if you take a canvas off the frame, the inside of, actually, of the frame is actually quite nice because it's got this lovely um, sort of bevel to it. It's actually a lot nicer than the flat outside. Now I've cut that, um, so I could have prevented that by doing by cutting it differently, but that doesn't matter because what I want to do is actually make a smaller square out of this anyway. So I think the best thing to do is just turn it over and then measure it out. And what's quite good about this is I can actually see where the stripes are, so I can see what I'm what I'm cutting. Um, so let's first of all just get a nice straight edge. In fact, one thing to think about is the size of the frame. So I've got a box frame here. It's got some glass. It's got um, a little sort of shelf in, a little barrier in it, so that I so it, it will make the the, cat, the picture stand off proud of the of the back. Um, and then I've got a mount. So what I would like is the the what are the design I'm going to do in the middle to be smaller than the mount. Right, so I'm going to get rid of these bits. I might, I might keep them actually for, you know, I have no idea. Could make quite a nice bookmark, couldn't it, that bit? Uh, but let's put those to the side. So I've now got a really nice square. So I want to next cut lots and lots of strips. So first of all, I'll measure it, measure it to get the strips an even length. And then I'm going to use my guillotine to cut it. So 
so that's all my lines drawn these lines are all one and a half centimeters wide and i've got a little bit just to chop off at the edges um so lots of parallel lines now so i'm going to use my guillotine to cut i'm going to cut the edges off first and then cut down them down the lines So that actually worked really well. I realised I had to use the guillotine and go back and forwards just to cut through it because this is pretty thick. So canvas plus quite a nice thick layer of acrylic paint on top. So I'm now just going to have a bit of a play around and decide what I'd like to do with this, how I'd like to weave this. And um, now I've realised there's an odd number of pieces. So I really and I really need an even number. So I'll probably take out the middle one, although I haven't quite got this right, this pattern right. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the middle one. So I might actually just take that out because I'd quite like to use the corners. So um, let's just have a think how I'm going to do this. If I separate these... And I guess I'm going to weave this into here somehow. I don't really know. Not done this before. I say not done this before. I think we did some weaving at school when we were children. So a very long time ago. So I've just been playing around with the base colour um, and I've decided I really like the bright white. This piece of card I was going to use is cream. It's just not bright enough. Um, I quite like the idea of black, but I just think white is going to be best. Although I don't like the white with the white frame. So the first thing I'm just going to do is just paint this piece of card white so that it's a bit brighter. So you've got a better contrast. So my piece of card is virtually dry now. The other thing that I did, I got the mount and I painted it silver. Um, I was thinking about painting this black. I'm going to try it with silver. If it's not enough, if it's not dark enough, it's not enough contrast, I'll paint it black afterward just to create more contrast between the, the white base and the white frame. Right. I don't really know how to stick this on. I've got my hot glue gun here. Um, I'm wondering, I'm just playing around with all the gaps. I'm wondering if I just put a little spot of hot glue at the end of each of these pieces, will it hold? Will I, or will I need actually some hot glue in the centre? Um, so obviously this is still very movable and I'm trying to get each of these little squares in the middle about the same. So they're all evenly spread this way and they're all evenly spread this way. And it's actually pretty difficult to do. It doesn't have to be perfect because... I think because the pattern is quite um, sort of mixture, a mixed pattern. I think it doesn't really matter if it's not spot on, but obviously I want it to be as as good as possible, as close to being spot on as possible. I think I'm just going to try a little bit of hot glue on the end of each piece and see if that holds. It's it's reasonably heavy this, um, as I say, because it's quite thick canvas. So there's a risk that 
once I then put the, put it upright, it's just going to fall. Right, I'm happy with that. So let's, oh, see, as soon as I lift that up, it all moves. So I'm just going to have to do this really carefully. So if I hold that down, but peel this up. So actually, instead of a spot of hot glue, then that was a whole line of hot glue. So let's try that. I really, really enjoyed making this. It's just so different. Um, I liked the pour before. I really like it now. How It's just so fun. Um, so I've put it in the box frame. The glass isn't in at the moment because you'll get too many reflections. Um, so let me show you up close. You can just see the weaving. You can see I've, I've tried to keep all the little white boxes exactly the same size. There's some variation. Um, it really doesn't matter too much. Um, but it's so pretty because you can see, you can see the painting, the diagonals going this way, but then you can also see, I've got to find it, the diagonals going this way. So you've got two pores almost in one. You can see, yeah, two different patterns, two different directions of the painting. Um, it's worked really well. It's nice and stable. So the hot glue gun just around the edges. Um, really happy with the silver frame. I, as I said, I was thinking of making the, the frame black. But I actually think that might be too dark. So the silver just gives just enough contrast. Um, so, yeah, really, really happy with this. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I realise it won't be everyone's idea of uh, or everyone's cup of tea cutting up a painting. Um, but it's just something fun to try. Really glad I've tried it. I think I'm going to do another one. But I've got another idea. I'm going to do something a bit more 3D by cutting up a canvas. Um, so watch this space. Please let me know what you think. Please tell me, um, give me any thoughts. You've got any comments, um, whether you like it or not. Oh, I've just seen a mistake. Oh my goodness, look, they're the wrong way round. Just seen it. Doesn't matter, but I've got those two in the wrong way round. Oh, never mind. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.